Patients who have had certain cancers of the head and neck region require radiotherapy, and this is usually going to be about 60 to 65 grays of radiation over a period of six weeks. And with such extensive radiation, it is going to be almost impossible for them to undergo minor oral surgery safely. The risk of osteoradionecrosis when you're extracting a tooth or placing the implant is very high. And this is one such gentleman who visited our practice. He had been to multiple dentists who were hesitant to rehabilitate him, understandably, but you can see that he has rampant caries on the maxilla and the mandible. So now we have certain limitations here, right? We cannot extract these teeth because this is going to cause osteoradionecrosis or a very high chance of it. We cannot even consider placing dental implants. So what did we end up doing for this patient? Now the maxilla fortunately had a few teeth which actually had reasonably good tooth structure after removal of all of the caries. So we gave him splinted survey crowns. Now why splinted, you might ask. You might say hygiene is more difficult with splinted. You know, we have the expectation that these teeth are going to develop caries at some point. Now, if he develops caries, likely this is not going to be painful because the teeth are endodontically treated, but the survivability of these prostheses is going to be much longer simply because they have been splinted together. So this is one of those rare exceptions where I like to splint in a very, very unique case such as this. So once we gave the splinted survey crowns on the left and the right side of the maxilla, we followed it up with a cast partial denture. But now what about the mandible? The mandible hardly has any salvageable teeth. So they all needed to be anatomically treated again. They were all decoronated or cut off at the gum line. And a few of those teeth, essentially two on each side, were given coasts with a ball attachment to hold on to a tooth supported over denture. And that's exactly what we did for this patient. And so he has great retention on the mandible because of those four teeth. And on the maxilla, he has splinted survey crowns with a cast partial denture. Now, this is something which he is functioning with and it has been several months. Most importantly for this patient, he needs a very, very high fluoride regimen to make sure that we do not develop caries. And if we do develop caries, we need to aggressively treat it because extracting these teeth carries that risk of osteoradionecrosis. And that is something which we do not want to see happen to this patient or any of our patients. I'm sure you might have some comments or questions. And if you do, please leave it in the comment box below. I hope I've confused you enough. This is the Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile. Thank you.